hello welcome back to another video i'm just sipping on a little tequila with water a little bit of sparkling water monk fruit and fresh lime juice and i'm about to get ready do my hair and makeup and stuff because tonight uh david and i are going with our friends rashida and nate um, out to calabasas for the knights of jack it's like a halloween event um super popular definitely got put on the map by the kardashians they were literally just there this last week like courtney kardashian and travis barker and then kylie jenner and travis scott and i think like chloe and kim and all of them they go like every year and a bunch of celebrities go and stuff so it's really popular because of that so i figured i would blog it because um if you follow those people then you probably have seen it or seen them post about it or know about it um so i'm really curious to see how it's going to be it's a little bit expensive if you are planning on going um for david and i okay our friends Rash rashida and nate they bought all four of our tickets plus a parking pass and i sent them like 105 so for two tickets and then half of the parking pass so a little bit pricey um and then nate's gonna drive us down there because he's doing sober october so all the rest of us can have some drinks because also at the place it's like a walk through kind of halloween lights carved pumpkins or whatever and they have a spook easy so it's like a little bar we're gonna get some drinks there but we're gonna go out to dinner before too so it is like two o'clock right now and they're gonna be here at like 3 15 ish because it's like almost a two hour drive out to calabasas so we're gonna like i said get dinner first at this italian place i called last night and got us a table and they have like a bunch of good vegan options and stuff and then we're gonna eat there and then go out to nights of jack so i'm really excited this should be super fun hopefully you guys enjoy this video but yeah i'm about to just do my makeup and i mentioned in the last vlog i was like um leave a comment if you want to see like the makeup i've been doing lately um but then it was like of course nobody's gonna comment and say that and i was right but i was like maybe i'll include it anyway i don't know that might make the video pretty long let me just show you guys the products that i've been using um and then i'll show you kind of the final look but really easy light foundation super like glowy and natural uh, looking makeup, which I'm really, really liking. During the week, depending on how tan I am, I have like all different shades of stuff. But during the week, like day to day, I've been using these foundations from uh, Misguided. I have one that's really dark and I have one that's pretty pale. Um, and then depending on where I am in my self tanning, I will either use the dark one or mix the two or whatever. So I've been using that during the week. But for nights that I want more coverage and you know more of like a done up look uh i use this it cosmetics foundation in the shade fair light and i love this so much it also has spf which is great and then i have been using just bronzer as my eyeshadow and i use the elf bronzer it's the cream one cream contour and then the elf cream blush um i don't know what shade this one is in the shade tan lines actually i use all of these products in a video um i'll link it above if you guys want to see because i actually fully do my makeup in that video i also use the tarte cosmetics is it tarte cosmetics i don't know why i said that the tarte creaseless concealer and then once i'm done with all my cream products i'll just go over with powder so i use the butter bronzer by physicians formula and i use the milani blush baked blush in the color Dolce Pink, which is stunning, so gorgeous. And then for my brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and then I'll fluff them up with this misguided right now brow thickening brow gel in the shade Light. And I always just do brown eyeshadow for my liner, and that's basically it. And then an e.l.f. mascara. Yeah, so it's, I'll show you guys when I'm done, but it's so glowy and not super cakey or anything. It makes you just have like this young, refreshed look in my opinion, and especially if you do like some, I've been doing heavier blush and kind of contouring with it, it looks really good. I'll show you guys what everything looks like when I get done and then the outfit for tonight and everything, and then obviously bring you guys along. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I hope you all enjoy this vlog.
let me show you guys just with the cream products foundation cream contour and concealer i haven't added blush yet look how smooth and glowy and amazing that looks i need to do a little bit more blending and obviously i'll add my powders and stuff but i just love how just natural and sun-kissed and glowy it looks and it looks even better once you add the elf cream uh blush on top are like a lot lower than I do but I've started kind of putting it like almost right on the cheekbone and then my blush goes on top of the cheekbone and I feel like it's really like lifting um, my face. it out so I do like these super well not super tight but pretty tight curls just like this and then um, a trick I learned from Jen Atkins she's like a celebrity stylist I'm sure you guys know who she is if you're on Instagram or you know pop culture stuff she sprays uh, hairspray on her fingertips and then she'll go into the parts like right here I want my bangs to kind of be back like a 70s flowy style so I'll just like rub right here and in the bottom of the curls so i'm gonna just let this sit get dressed and then the very last thing i do before i leave the house is um brush through all these so i feel like it's gonna it came out really really well um yeah i'll show you guys when we're all done getting ready we're trying to decide um i put like this together for david tonight this uh it's like a black h m shirt black pants he's gonna wear doc martens but we got this actually it's in my fall try on it's his but it, I, I put it in the video and then we're gonna replace it with this one it's just like thinner and it's corduroy yeah. and it's like this is like one shade lighter yeah i like this better though than this one i think it's cooler we don't really have anything corduroy this is just basic yeah plain. i think you should for sure keep this because the brown one. one's like the plain yeah we can take this you know one. you don't need to and i also have a black one that's like yeah just plain the corduroy, corduroy is like cooler like texture Anyway, we're gonna uh, finish getting dressed, probably gonna have another drink, and then I'll show you guys the outfit when I'm done. Okay, I decided to go for an all black look with just the snake print boots. I will link the video that all of this stuff is in. I did like a huge fall haul with a ton of stuff that's over here too. I was gonna do this like long um, faux suede coat, but it's only gonna get down to like 65 tonight, so I feel like I'd be burning up. And then I packed some chunky white sneakers just in case my feet start to die because these are already kind of hurting but you know you got to just do it for the fashion sometimes so David and I are all black tonight um with little like kind of tan cream tones so yeah this is the look David has a mixed drink and I have a mixed drink that okay, we're gonna we're have for is efficient efficient we are look at us in our all black yeah don't want to run into us yeah, in a, in a, a dark alley. alley. Okay, yeah, in any kind of alley. <laughs> Peening spirits. I would have been really skeptical if a friend I haven't talked to in 30 years comes out of the woodwork and says that they can communicate with the other side. Some creepy ass shit going on in this podcast. Okay, that'll work. Hey, you guys, geez. we packed our own drinks. We're at the restaurant. We packed okay. our own. Only have beer and wine. And they only have beer and wine, and we need liquor, liquor bitch, so yeah, yeah, cheers. cheers. Mm. 
Ooh, the hostess strong. can just straight up see you chugging that. That is strong. How much you put in mine? Two, uh, one and a half ounce shots. I'm gonna save the rest before we go to the place. All right, let's go eat. Rashida's cute little hat. I'm ready with the bed out. And we're gonna have the rest of my tequila before we go. I'm gonna be freezing later. It's okay. Be yeah. scary. That's all I have to say. It's not scary at all. It's like kid friendly. Okay. It's a nice and I just did not care. Dress wise, it's really good. Strange summer. <laughs> yes. We're like tailgating. <laughs> ready. <laughs> I didn't know. Why have I never drank? <laughs> quick poll, quick poll, everybody. Answer me why I never drank gin. David's been drinking gin tonight, and he loves it. Tell me. He just got Tanqueray on the rocks, and it smells so fresh and amazing, and he has been drinking gin even since before we left the house. I just got tequila on the rocks with some lime juice. Rashida got a margarita. It's, it's a little strong. Skeletons at the top. They're so cute. Good morning, happy Monday. It's like 9.30 right now. I got out of bed at like nine o'clock. I'm uh, about to make some coffee. Also, I just got back from taking the dogs out and giving them breakfast and stuff. When I walked out, there were two Riverside police officers. I'm assuming it's like a domestic violence type of situation because there's a woman in one of the cop cars um, talking to an officer and then there's a man over in his garage talking to another officer. Um, so I was just taking the dogs out and they're literally right outside. So I was like trying not to stare too much and like mind my own business. But I also wanted to like see what apartment, what the guy looked like and stuff. So like if in the future I can like keep an eye out because, but then obviously, I mean, you don't, you never know, like did she do something or did he do something? But just in general, I want to be like, keep an eye on that situation but anyway um while i'm still feeling like shit um let me just tell you guys so as y'all know this week is like 
it was like the week of the 20th of September 20th that I started um, being consistent with working out, didn't drink there for like three weeks, was counting calories, all that stuff. Um, but this weekend, told, actually since Thursday, totally, I just feel like I went back to the old days and now I feel like shit. Um, I had drinks on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and yesterday. So four days in the row in a row. Um and yesterday I was just having like gin and sparkling water like out by the pool and like we were hot tubbing and stuff. So it was just like Sunday, you know, chilling. Um but we had also drink on Saturday night and I think I also had some drinks on Friday night and on Thursday. I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Yeah, so not feeling great about that at all um also last night or like over the weekend we were like you know out with our friends and stuff so we obviously weren't like eating as clean and then last night for dinner um we had been at the pool for so long and then like by the time we showered and everything it was already like 7 30 i didn't make anything for dinner so we literally had like air fried ch uh, chicken nuggets and some air fried like spring rolls and i had like leftover pizza the other like from the other night just when you're feeling so good and you're like oh i've got this down like i've got this new routine down boom you can like slide back into your bad habits so quickly and i totally did that over the weekend and i'm like kicking myself for it um because i didn't sleep so good and i'm waking up at you know getting out of bed at like nine whereas if you guys remember from my last vlog, I'm like, I've been awake at like 7.30 every morning. I feel so good. I've been sleeping so well. But yeah, that I just am like, I'm a little disappointed in myself. Um, but not enough to be like, oh, let's just keep going down this path. No. Because that would be super easy to do. But then I would just feel like shit. And I hate how I feel today. I hate it. Compared to the way you feel when you're like on top of your game. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling great this morning. This is the first time since I started this where I've like really felt like I messed up and I really feel like bad and the energy's gone and yeah, I just don't feel good. I'm sure you guys can like tell in the way I'm talking and like, I just hate it. But there's a lot to do today. Um, and also it's like my favorite weather. The high for today is 61 degrees. It's cloudy and gloomy and chilly. Um, I need to do some laundry, put laundry away, make the bed, make some coffee, do the dishes, go work out, um, edit some things for Instagram. I just need to like get my shit together today. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I don't know how long this video is, but I think I'm going to go ahead and close it out here so I can really focus on the day to day. Maybe I'll like put one more clip at the end of the day, just letting you guys know like if I'm feeling any better. But right now I'm feeling like I totally went off track and I like failed myself and all the progress I've made is gone and I probably gained all the weight back that I lost. That's th these are the thoughts that are running through my head. So I'm going to try and stop that by doing a bunch of positive stuff for me today that I know is going to make me feel good. So yeah. Yeah, I'll check in with you guys at the end of the day and let you know if I was able to like turn it around. But right now it's like, I also hate like waking up to like dishes in the sink and like clothes that need to be put away. There's just like stuff. Need to still sell that bar cart, take the trash out. You know what I mean? Like just, this is not a healthy environment for me to wake up to. I know it's not that bad, but it's just like the clutter and my space clutters like my mind as well and I hate it, so. But yeah, I did wanna share this because this is like the reality of, you know, trying to have a healthy lifestyle and not just like do a diet or whatever. Like when you're trying to change your life, there are gonna be days where you fuck, like you mess up, you know? I almost said you F up, but then I don't know if I'd be demonetized. Um, yeah, there's gonna be days where you mess up, you're not on your game, and you gotta like pick yourself back up and just keep going. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, it is like exactly 24 hours later since I picked up my camera last. Um, I didn't film anything yesterday because I ended up 
finally going over to the gym. I just did some light cardio. I did like some stretching and stuff. I just was feeling so exhausted yesterday and just so, ugh. But um, all day yesterday, I'm, I'm glad I went ahead and at least went over there and did a workout, like at least moved my body a little bit. Um, and then ate really clean yesterday, um, got a good night's sleep and woke up feeling good except that I'm covered in pimples and I'm realizing that if I go off of clean eating, like at all, my skin really breaks out. If I have like processed sugar, a lot of processed food or I'm drinking or whatever, boom. That's like the first thing to show is my skin. But positive thing, I did wake up this morning, hopped on the scale and I'm at a new low weigh-in since starting weigh-in. <laughs> Why was my voice like that? Oh my God. I'm at a new low weigh-in since starting trying to lose weight um, about a month ago. So I started it on like September 20th, 21st, something like that. And today is October 19th. So nearly a month later, um, I started at like 150 to 151-ish pounds. And this morning I was 144.4. So that feels really good. Yeah, so that was a positive thing to wake up to. I've just taken some pre-workout, um, had a couple of dark chocolate rice cakes, and I'm about to go over to the gym. I've got this on because it's 51 degrees outside, but you would think that by me wearing this, it's like 30 degrees, but that's what happens when you are live in California. 51 is very cold. Anyway, so I just wanted to do a little update. Yesterday, I really took the time to rest, not put too much pressure on myself. I really just relaxed yesterday and ate well, got some good sleep so that I could, you know, just turn it around and have a better week. So if you guys need a day like that where you are just chilling in bed, watching YouTube videos or watching Netflix or just taking it easy, like doing the bare minimum, absolutely do it because I just really needed that reset. And there were times yesterday when I was laying around that I was like, I need to get up and do something, but I was like, no, just relax. So. I did that, I'm feeling better, and I'm ready to go crush a leg workout right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video and probably start a new one either today or tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna go get a facial, I'm excited about that. And I might just do kind of like a what I eat or something uh, more related to, or like specifically related to me trying to get back on track. Because obviously what I'm doing is working, I'm down six pounds, you know, so I'm feeling really good. I'm going to go work out. I hope you guys, whenever you're watching this, are having a great morning, afternoon, night. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it started a certain way. Now it's like ending on a completely different um, note. But yeah, I have been trying to make it a point to keep you guys updated on this kind of getting back in shape journey because it's like this, you know, like it's not always going to be great. I'm going to make mistakes and have bad days, but don't let that you know, make you give up completely. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see y'all in the next one.